What's up, YouTube? This is the Psych and the Denim Ninja. Yo! What the hell was that? What? It's a ninja. <laughs> anyway, come on. We're going to be giving our potential uh, list for the next Super Smash Bros. game. We will first be looking at characters that we've seen in Brawl and we just didn't like or don't want to return for the next one. So we'll start the ball rolling and we'll start with Rob. What didn't you like about Rob? Well, for one, his final smash. It was a bit lame, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, just having lasers come out of his eyes. I mean, okay, it was kind of like the charging my laser gimmick. But when he final smashed, it kind of looked like he was having a spaz attack. Let's be honest, the game is not made on just the final smashes, though. Well, but no, I mean, Brawl's the first game that's had final smashes in. But I think they could have done a lot better with him. It was an interesting attempt. But personally, he, did, he felt a bit sluggish to me, didn't really play as well as the other characters. Um, I must admit, the only, I think the only thing I liked about him was probably his recover, and that was being able to hover about. That was alright, mm. but everything else, yeah, was sluggish, was difficult to work with. Uh, okay, now we'll move on to Toon Link. Oh, God. Toon Link... I'm carbon copy of the original. Ah, uh, yeah. That's my only problem with Toon Link, is that if you want to have Toon Link in, that's fair enough, but don't make him just a carbon copy of Link, because then he just becomes... In all, uh, in all fairness... Endless. You might as well have it a different character costume. Mm. In if all you're going to have Toon Link, have his weapons and his items from his games. The, the yeah, DS that's, that's games. something I wanted to dispute about. Yeah. He had none of the games he had from Wind Waker. Mm. It just didn't make sense. He was literally a carbon copy of the original. They didn't give him anything from his game. Yeah. So, yeah, if, you, if you're going to put Toon Link in the next one, if you're going to make him a carbon copy of Link, then make him a costume for normal Link. Otherwise, give him something to actually fight with that's from his own series rather than just giving him Link spam. Well, anyway, those are the two characters that we didn't like from Brawl. We, we had a look through the entire list, and quite frankly, those were the only two characters that we didn't like. Well, the ones that we really didn't. It, it didn't gel with us. Yeah, and to I be mean... And perfectly honest, Rob's the only one that I didn't really like. Toon Link can get away with if you're going to put him in the next game. Like I say, with different attacks. So, what we're going to do next, we're going to move on to the characters that we... Characters that we want to return, but only if they were changed in some way. Right. These are basically the characters that we'd like to see return, but we don't like the way they've been portrayed in the game. They're either carbon copies of someone else, or their movesets just don't make sense. So, we're going to start off with Wolf and Falco if you didn't actually realise that from what I've just said. Yeah, we know Falco's been in melee. He has the same moveset as Fox. And so, so Wolf. And so, yeah, Wolf has the same moveset as Fox. And there were some slight differences, obviously. Falco's got a better air game. And Falco chucks his reflector when he, yeah. when he uses it. And Wolf is slightly stronger on the ground. Fox is more of an all-rounder. But it's but, not enough of a difference. But, and the biggest issue here is their final smash. All three of them use a bloody landmaster. And especially when Falco said, Personally, I prefer the air. So why doesn't he use an R-wing? That would be a lot better. Seriously. It, it would make more sense. Yeah. No, yeah, it would be a lot better, because he wouldn't have a landmaster. He'd have something else. It would make, like I say, it would make slightly more sense. But hey, uh, I mean, yeah. we would like to them to return, obviously. But we would like them to have different movesets to, to go with their abilities. Falco's probably got more of a chance of returning the wolf, considering he's been in one extra game, and he obviously had popularity from the previous one. But, <coughs> in all fairness, we'd like to see a different moveset for him and wolf. And that brings <coughs> us to Lucas, who yes. is another carbon copy. Well, not... Quite. I mean, there are some subtle differences between him and Ness, but a lot of the moves do seem to be copies. Again, uh, in, in all fairness, um, in all fairness, he, he, I've he never uses, played he, he uses, he, well, no, but he uses the same recovery, that PK Thunder thing, which I must say is probably the funniest recovery I've ever seen. <laughs> Shooting himself up the ass just to get back onto the screen. They use PK Fire. They use PK Freeze. Don't get me wrong. They obviously, yeah, they're both PK users and they use the same moves, but can't they make it different slightly for them? Maybe have one with a slightly better PK fire than the other, and one slightly better PK freeze, so um, they do slightly different. Ness is better at PK fire. Really? Yes. Scratch it. 
But you're, you're uh, an idiot. Uh, <laughs> I don't like them. Ness with his oh yeah okay. Yeah, it is. He's, well, he sounds like a retarded kid. He very well might be. I mean, we've never played Earthbound. Well, no, I don't know a lot of Earthbound to be honest, but. I know that if I was going to use both characters, I'd give them at least more than, like, slight subtle animation differences. Well, that brings us to our final entrance in the characters we would like to see changed before the next game, and that is Ganondorf. Oh, yeah, Ganondorf. What to say about Ganondorf? He's Captain Falcon, but slow. (laughs) Picture this, guys. Taunt. Ha ha! I have a sword, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to Falcon Punch you to death! It seems a bit... Uh, rank. Yes? Yeah. In all fairness, no one would ever use Gat. Well, I, I don't know. Some some of you might use Ganon. I like Ganon. Yeah, I like Ganon, but... Got potential. The, the, the problem is, is... The problem is, he's slower than Captain Falcon, and they share the same moveset, so which one are you going to use? No, virtually the same moveset. It's not completely the same, but okay. their most powerful hits are sort of Falcon Punch. Yeah, or or his patented Falcon kit, which Ganon seems to share as well. There are subtle differences. Yes, Ganon's are going to Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, in, in all honesty, these four characters are the ones we want to change. If they come back, we want them different. And hopefully someone will alter their character models. And obviously, Toon Link falls into this. But... Yeah. To be perfectly honest, we can't see them actually bothering in, in, to Well, non- in, in all fairness, yeah, two Link does fall into this, but at the same time, he's Link. And we've already got one Link in there. At least these guys are different characters. Next, we move on to characters that we would like to return from Brawl. We'll start with the Super Mario. Wait, what? Mario? I don't want Mario back. Nah, Mario sucks. We don't want him back. We you want Luigi. What? Yes. We want Luigi. We love Luigi. Mario, yeah, we're Mario, <laughs> yeah. Mario, Luigi, Bowser, Peach, Yoshi. That's all you really need. Yeah. That'll, that'll do. You don't need any more characters from Mario, otherwise it becomes Super Mario Brothers Brawl. From Legend of Zelda, we've obviously got Link and Zelda. And Ganondorf. If they uh, Ganondorf if they change him. And possibly Toon Link or Young Link, whichever. But so long as they change him. From Donkey Kong, obviously. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. That's all you really need. From Kirby. It's Kirby Crazy enough. Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> Meta Knight, who I have to say he appeared in Brawl for the first time and awesome character. Same with DDD, except his final smash. Yeah. Alter DDD smash and yeah, we'll what? want him back. <laughs> <laughs> From Pokemon, uh, we had a bit of a dispute with this one. Uh, obviously Pikachu. We so damn cute. Jigglypuff. Now, I'm not a big fan of Jigglypuff, but he's been in every single Smash Brothers game since the start. And we're not going to kick him out now. No. Something, he must be so doing something it, right to stay. Is it a he? It's probably a girl. You fact, can't fact, tell, it, actually. Unless you'd like... We're, we're going to have so many comments just on what Jigglypuff's gender is. Yeah. <laughs> Please feel free to comment, by the way. We love the Pokemon yeah. trainer. Pokemon um, trainer was a good way of introducing a lot to Pokemon. In it. But for the next Smash Brothers, uh, maybe a different lineup for the, the trainer. Uh, possibly having the option of changing between male and female trainers. Yes, that was something that was said. Quite a few on quite a few of the lists. Really. Yeah, of, of all the lists we've seen, we've seen uh, people wanting a female trainer, and both our opinions maybe have the ability to switch between the two. It won't be that difficult, I would have thought. Our last Higher Pokemon, we we weren't sure because a lot of people love Mewtwo, but at the same time, there are some people that love Lucario after his introduction, and we were talking about possibly Darkrai as well. So that one's open to debate. We're not sure which one of those would return. We we love them all. Speak for yourself. Well, yeah. Can I show you my Pokemon? <laughs> and we're out of time, so stay tuned for part two of this series.